are made wise, not by the recollection of our past, but by the responsibility of our future. Located along the southern bank of the Pasig River, Intramuros is Manila, and Manila is Intramuros itself, built by the Spanish conquistadors in the 16th century. The oldest district of the city of Manila even today, a city within the walls. On May 10, 2007, the Department of Tourism, Intramuros Administration, and the National Museum undertook a historic and monumental archaeological project that would provide a heritage window to generations and generations of Filipinos. The Maestranza Archaeological Project is a joint project of the Department of Tourism, National Museum, and the Intramuros Administration. The financial assistance was provided by the government of Japan. The main purpose of this is to serve as a guide for architects and developers of the Intramuros administration. So these archaeological materials recovered in Maestranza site will provide us some insight on the past events that happened in the area. And in archaeology, it is very important to study the past in order to understand the present, in order to guide us in our future. This is the archaeological excavation, one of the bulwark gates of the Spanish military might from the 16th century until its collapse in the late 19th century. The National Museum, in coordination with the Intramuros administration, conducted the systematic archaeological excavation from May to December 2007. Funded by the Japanese government, the project aims to expose the foundation of the curtain walls of Almacenes, Baluarte de Herrerias, and Baluarte de Santo Domingo, which were built in the 1820s and demolished in 1904 to expose the original road of the Maestranza and to systematically retrieve archaeological materials. It was a formidable task. Guided by old photographs and plans, the combined expertise of the National Museum, Intramuros Administration, the Philippine National Police Bomb Disposal Unit, volunteers and graduate students, and professors from the University of Santo Tomas, the entire archaeological activities was completed in December 2007. Ang ginagawa ko dito ay nagsa-soil profile, nagpa-plot, dinodrawing ko yung mga old structures, yung mga American period na structures. Kasi itong maestransa kasi connected to sa Fort Santiago eh. Parang ito yung dating armory nila. So lahat ng mga weapons, cannons, dito ginagawa. Nahanap namin yung old wall na nakakonect sa Fort Santiago kasi i-restore to. Naging masaya ako dahil naging isa akong instrumento sa pagpapahalaga at pag-preserve ng history ng Philippines. The artifacts recovered in C2 as well as Ecofax were meticulously documented and recorded. Thus exposed, the remains of the Maestranza curtain wall reveal the Spanish and American period structures from road gutter, adobe blocks, and wooden posts used, concrete flooring, pipes, and drums. A total of 17,000 priceless archaeological materials were recovered. Vitrified pipes, earthenware, circa 1860s stoneware liquid containers, porcelain dating back to 18th century Qing Dynasty, glass liquid containers, even San Miguel beer bottles, shells, and modified bones, metal objects, cannons, rifles, bullets, Chinese, American, European, and Arabic coins, and 1938 military insignias. These artifacts does not merely record dates, names, and events of political, economic, or social importance. Rather, it accounts for the peasantry, 
the way our ancestors and colonizers lived, what are their subsistence patterns, and the possible work and motivations culturally that will help us define well our being a Filipino. The Curtain Walls of Almacenes, Baluarte de Santo Domingo, and Baluarte de Herrerias are now raised, revealing the grandeur of the Spanish colonial past. Since 1978, the National Museum has been of assistance to the Intramuros administration in all its projects and programs. Reconstruction, preservation, conservation cannot be undertaken without an assessment and evaluation of the archaeological sites themselves and the objects and other informative materials that may be retrieved from such an activity. It is very important, the archaeological uh, information derived, because if there will be archaeological places that would be impacted, we should know the data, record, document, and save these for posterity. With all of these, the Department of Tourism the Intramuros administration and the National Museum set their eyes for the reconstruction of the curtain walls of Maestranza into a national park that will help us remember our past, preserve our culture, and help us see beyond the walls the history of Filipinos.